I always dislike working on my own cars. I, I think most mechanics do. You know, just your daily driver or your family car or whatever. <clears throat> so, but I've, I've done a lot of work to this vehicle lately. Uh, it's been way overdue and it, it deserved it. It needed to get done. Uh, so one thing that's been driving me a little nuts that I'm fixing is my driver's door. And a lot of people wouldn't even pay attention to it, but I do it. It just, it drives me a little nutty. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Now also, this is my Toyota Sienna minivan. I have two minivans. I have the Toyota Sienna and I have the Dodge Grand Caravan. Um, my preference is the Dodge Grand Caravan. But, you know, I got this and it serves its purpose. I like the van. It has an excellent ride. Um, it's roomy, but I like the caravan better. It's just personal preference. That's all. There's nothing wrong with this van. Uh, nothing wrong with the design. Um, there's a few things that I wish they did differently that I think the caravan's better at, but... Yeah, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. So let me show you what I'm talking about with the driver's door. So here we go. So here the door's closed. I'm going to open it up. Now I want you to listen. You hear that? That drives me insane. And what that is, is this piece in here. That right there. And that's called a door check. And if you look close, I don't know if you can see it. See it how it's moving on that pin right there? Basically, you can actually see it's spreading open slightly. See it? How it spreads open? Basically, the plastic, there's like a metal piece on the inside, and there's plastic that's molded around it, and the plastic is cracked. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to change that door check. I've been meaning to do it. I've had the parts for probably three months, but I'm going to do that now. Um, so anyway, it's pretty simple. I actually already took the screws out and I thought, wow, I should be making a video on this. This trim panel has to come back out. I put it back in just for, just to show you. There's just, there's a screw behind that. There's also a screw in there. I took that screw out. It's just a Phillips head screw. No big deal. So now this panel is pretty simple. Uh, hold on a second. You just take a little pocket screwdriver like this, you put it in here, and see that it pops free. So then you pull the handle, and then you can get it out. So I can't do that single-handedly. Um, a lot of people ask, where do you get these? Go on Amazon. You could buy you could buy like 15 of these things in a pack uh, for like, I don't know, I think they're 15 bucks, 18 bucks, something like that. Maybe 20. Actually, now with inflation, they're probably 145, but that's neither here nor there. But that's how I usually buy these. I go on Amazon. At one point, I bought a pack of 25, and I gave a whole bunch of them away to friends of mine. Because, you know, as mechanics, these things really come in handy. Plus, it's got a magnet on the end. So in case, you know, you, you got, like, the screw down there and you can't get it out, you just, you know, grab it like that. But anyway, so let me do that, pull that off, and then we'll go to the next step. There, just so you can see it. That's where the screw went. I already took the screw out. There again, just a Phillips screw. No big deal. Now you got to pull this upper reveal panel off, the inner piece for the mirror. This is usually just a pop-on. Yep, looks like that. That comes off. Now, the door panel itself, there's no screws around the perimeter of it. I've already checked. So I believe this has just got push pins that hold it in place. So I'm going to have to use a panel tool to pop the pins, and then you always have to lift up on the panel. So let me go pop the pins first. And easiest thing to do is use a tool like this. I've told you before, I've got this from Snap-on. This is the best tool I've ever gotten. I have a bunch of the Harbor Freight ones, and they work excellent. But this one is really good for what I'm going to do right now. And let me see if I can actually show you. Hold on one second. I just realized the outer edge, how I didn't see this before. It's got a push pin. These are plastic. And you could use a Phillips screwdriver or a little, little pocket screwdriver. Like this. But you've got to be gentle with it because all it is is like a plastic anchor. So you want to be gentle because if you're pushing in on it, usually you'll just push the darn thing. Oops, there the door just opened on me. You'll just push the darn centerpiece back in and you'll never get the anchor out because it's just like a wall anchor at home, you know, for when you're hanging up a picture or something. And it's just plastic, so it's really, there, see, really no big deal. And like I said, you want to do it gingerly because if you put pressure on it, a lot of times, yeah, see, it just collapsed on itself. So if you're putting pressure on it, a lot of times you can't get it out. So you just want to do it nice and easy, nice and gentle. So that's out. And now, 
I haven't looked at this yet, but I'm assuming underneath here, if I get my tool in place, there's going to be push pins behind there. I'm sorry if I didn't focus on that. There, okay. So now, yeah, see that right there? There, oops, where are we? There's a push pin. Actually, it works better back here. There's a push pin. See that piece right there that this is resting against? There's a push pin on that. There, see it? So, use the tool and get it to pop. Now, usually once you get one or two to pop, you can put your fingers behind the panel and then just give it a quick yank, and usually they will pop right out. So let me go to the next one if I can find it. Oh, it's down there. See it? There, it's popped. So now, usually what I'll do is I'll hold my knee on the bottom edge of the door here, and then I'll grab the panel and yank. Oops, sorry. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. So now, this side actually reattached. Okay, there may actually be another screw down in here and I wasn't aware of because it feels, it feels like there's something here unless this piece has to come out. Let me look at this for a minute and see if I can't figure this out. My light just turned off because my battery's going dead. So let me stick this on charge while I figure this out. So it appears there's one screw down there, which I'm gonna take that out. Like I said, unfortunately I don't have light at the moment my battery is too weak so you take that screw out I've never had the door panel off on this so I'm just kind of learning as I go okay so that lifts up a lot of times the front has like a wedge that tucks in so let me do this with two hands instead of one because it feels like there's a screw behind here somewhere holding this whole thing in place so let me get to that let me put my phone back on charge and yep, if you look at the very front there, you'll see that tab that goes underneath. So I pulled this thing up, and I got to release this wiring harness. It's just a push pin or push tab there. See that? I'm sorry I'm like so weird with the videoing because I have to have my phone on charge. I can't go any closer at the moment because I'm charging it with the car charger. So you push that tab, and then the connector should come out. Like I said, I'm going to have to come off of this for a minute just to do this because I got to do it two-handed. So now with the switch panel out of the way, it looks like I got two screws here, two Phillips head. Looks like I could take those out, get this cup piece out, and it, it, like I said, it feels like there's a screw underneath this going in that way. So let me get this off and see what's in there. All right, screws are out. That just lifts up, and as I thought, there's a screw in the center there. So I gotta take that out, and once I take that out, this panel should come straight off. Now with the screw out and the panel out, this thing should just lift up. Just like that and come out. Now you got to worry about the cables there for the door handle and the lock. So let me put my phone down because I'm going to have to disconnect this. So those pretty much disconnected themselves because the ends here pop into those grooves there. So basically I'm going to have to hold them and snap them in place as I put the panel back on. So let me pull the panel away, and i got to disconnect that harness there because that's for the interior light, as you can see down there. Let me do that, and then it looks like i got to take that speaker out, maybe, to get to the door check area. Let's do that and see what's going on. Yeah, so now everything's disconnected. The panel's off, so I'm going to have to take the speaker out, and I'm going to have to hook the um, switch back up because i got to put the window up in order to get to the door check on the inside. Okay, window's up. Screws are out, there's just four of them. I got the harness disconnected from it. This should just pop out like that. Put that on the floor. And up inside here, I should be able to access. There, you see the door check there? I don't know how, uh, I gotta look at the new one. The bolts may go in from this side somehow. Yeah, they do. And then what I do is I unbolt it and I just drag it in through inside the door. So let me get that unbolted. All right, so now we're just going to take this 10 off here. Ten bolt. And then inside here are two 10 nuts. So I'm going to take those off. See, they're not gorilla tight. See? So 
why I love these little screwdrivers. They really do come in handy. So that's one. And I just dropped that screw, but as you can see, it's right there. So I'll just grab it with my handy dandy little screwdriver. Magnet. There it is. So now you reach in through the opening here and you pull out the door check. You go closely. You can see the crack in it. Like I said, that, that noise just makes me mental. So I have a new one here. It's a little different looking, I just noticed. Hopefully it's the same. It's an aftermarket. But as long as everything lines up, I'll be happy. So basically, same thing, reverse procedure to install. I say that an awful lot, but it's the truth. So you're gonna get this in place, and yeah, it lines right up. So I'm gonna catch the nuts on there, catch the bolt on there, and I'm gonna basically reverse procedure to install, and that's pretty much it. If I run into anything out of the ordinary on the reinstallation of this, I will cover that. So let's just go ahead and I'll get that all together. So there we go, that's in place. Like I said, not a big deal. The nuts are tight, the bolt is tight. Uh, that was pretty easy, pretty simple as you saw. Uh, so my next step is I gotta put the speaker back in, bolt that in place, uh, plug the wiring in. And then I got the cables up here, which I don't recall off the top of my head how they went, but it should be pretty easy to figure out because one of them is for door lock and one of them, oops, sorry, one of them is for door lock and one of them is for the actual handle. So one of them, let's see, Okay, that's obviously door lock. So I just gotta remember that that goes on the door lock one. So let me just start getting this all together and we will go from there. Okay, so the panel's basically in place. It's snapped in place. Obviously I gotta clean it, but you know, being a mechanic, I wind up getting stuff dirty. That's why I should never have a car with a tan interior. But basically I gotta put the screws back in that I can get to. Uh, this is actually kind of an interesting connector here if you see that the outer shell here actually once you get th this piece in the outer shell slides in and in this area there in that hole you can see it you see that gray piece that gray piece is a lock and this outer portion here once you get this in place the outer portion can actually slide in and lock in place to hold it to the switch so Anyway, I just thought it was kind of interesting. Let me get all of this stuff on and we shall go from there. All right, so everything's back on, everything's hooked up. Last thing is this pin. And like I said, like I said, on these, when you're pulling them apart, don't hold a lot of pressure on that because this, look how easy that goes in. So if you're holding any pressure on it as you're trying to unscrew it, you're never gonna get it out. It's never gonna come out, so. All right, so now the door. Oh, nice and quiet. Look at that. All right, yeah, because, I mean, the little things just aggravate the snot out of me. So I hope you got something out of that video. If you could, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. That's it for now. Have a great day. Keep wrenching.